today we're going to be doing our first lesson with Louie, little Weimaraner puppy who has yet to have any puppy obedience. And so we're going to start off with what I think is the most foundational part of puppy training, and that is learning to focus. So if we can get him to wake up. Come here, Lou. We'll get rolling. I'm using boiled chicken. The reason I use boiled chicken is because I find it to be very high value for dogs, but very low impact on them physically. And hey, you want the whole bit, don't you? Give me. Give you a freebie so you know what we're working with. There you go. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start holding out pieces of chicken off the side of my head and I'm gonna wait until he looks at me and or stops trying to steal it from me and reward him. The end goal of this, yes, good boy, is that I can put chicken on the floor and he won't go for it, but rather will sit and look at me. Now in the interim, I will, yes, good boy. I'll reward progress towards the goal. So like there, he wasn't sitting down but he wasn't going for the chicken and he was looking at me. Therefore, I'm totally willing to give that to him. This is much more common than what he did right off the bat, which is that there will be a level of tenacity in trying to take the chicken from me. And I'll just hold it in its place and wait till he backs off. Yes, good boy. Now what you might notice is that every time I'm going to reward him, I'm saying yes, and then I'm moving the chicken to my nose and then to his. And the reason that I'm doing that is because if I'm aiming to reward his eye contact, I want to make sure that the reward is being given in the line of sight between us, not coming from the side, thereby rewarding him for breaking eye contact. So we just kind of wade through this part. Yes, good boy. The word yes is something that I'm using as a marker word to tell him that he did what I was looking for. And the more often he hears yes, the more often he's gonna recognize that that is in fact meaning he did the right thing. Yes, good boy. Now you might hear as I go through this in the beginning that I am using different cues in order to get him to look at me, which is, yes, good boy. All right, as I was saying, you might notice that in the beginning here, what I'm at, I will be making certain sounds, yes, good boy, in order to try and coach him into looking at me. And the reason I do that is because, of course, he's never done this before, and while I don't want to attach any specific verbal cue, yes, good boy, I do want to encourage him to do the right thing by kind of saying without saying. <clears throat> yes, good boy. And what you'll notice is he's already settling in to understanding the concept here. Yes, good boy. And so we just keep at it. Yes, good job. Now, as he improves, I'm gonna lessen the amount of cues I give him, but also I'm going to increase, yes, the amount of time that he needs to look at me. Yes, good boy. Now, he's gotten a few successful ones in a row, so what I'm gonna do is lower the chicken down a bit and what you'll likely see is him go back to his previous effort of trying to take it from me. But he'll soon come back to that response that I've been coaching, which is to sit back and look at me rather than try and take it. And so, yes, I just wait until that happens. The reason that he is going back to this is because I'm putting the chicken more in his wheelhouse. It's a little more accessible to him and so he is gonna be that much more likely to try and take it before he realizes that this is still the same game we've been playing, 
Before he has to look at me. Yes, good boy. There you go. He's a smart man. You are. So same thing. We just work as though this was the beginning, except now the chicken's a little lower. And because he's done it, yes. You might have seen that he has given me a couple side eyes, but I'm not going to reward that at this point because he knows what the true response is, which is to sit back and completely look at me. Now, when I am in a private lesson, yes, where I have the owners with me, I am often still the one who does the beginning of this, largely because you go through a lot of chewing and a lot of licking, and I've accepted the fact that that is part, yes, of my life, and so I'm willing to take the brunt of it to spare the hands of the others. Mm -hmm. Yes, good boy. So you see I made him hold that eye contact a little longer there as he improves at this level. Once he gets a couple more good ones, I'll move it down even further. Yeah, you keep trying. Yes, good boy. Very good. Yes, good boy. Good job. That's a big pinch, huh? You also notice that I'm still on that same piece of chicken I started with. And the reason for that, yes, good boy, is that I'm giving very small pinches, only about the size of a rice, maybe two grains of rice put together. But to dogs, that doesn't make any difference. It's more about the amount of treats they get in succession, not about any specific size of treat. Yes. The reason I like to do this is because over the course of even an hour lesson, I could end up feeding him 100 treats, but it's even less than half a breast of chicken, so it doesn't have a great impact on the amount of food he's taking in for the day. Yes, good boy. There you go. Go a little lower here. I kind of see this method of training and the decisions that he's making like a filing cabinet in that, yes, good boy. He has this range of decisions and he, when we first start, he has this entire file that he has to choose from, different ways that he can react to a specific situation. What I'm trying to do is create a file that is sit and stare, and the more that I can get him to access that file, the more it's going to move towards the front, yes, of the cabinet. And as I lower my hand, you'll see the file kind of goes back in the drawer a little bit and he goes back to other options such as leg, bite, steal. But over the course of repetition and just continuing to have him go after the same bit, he's going to keep moving that sit and stare file up front. And the reason that I use this as my first part of training, yes, is because the response of sit and stare or sit and focus, if you will, becomes invaluable in training them other tricks and other behaviors, yes, such as stay, go to bed, even heal, which is more like a stand and stare or a walk and stare. But that idea, yes, that they're rewarded for paying attention to us rather than some external source of stimuli is very valuable, yes, as we go forward. I kind of see it as the, uh, the foundation upon which you build the framework for any other behavior, yes. Whether you're going for agility or just a regular pet or competitive obedience, the ability to focus, yes, in the face of different distractions is paramount in finding success in any of those endeavors. Yes, good boy. Now you see there, yes, good job. He checked in instead of going for it at all. And I want to reward that. And so I gave him two. Yes, good boy. There you go. Yes, good job. Who's picking up on this? Yes, good boy. 
Yes, there we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Yes, good boy. I love seeing them make the decision to return to sitting and staring. Yes, to lean in as though they were going to try and take it, but then remember that that hasn't been successful so yet. Yes, so rather they choose to sit back and do what we've been working on. Yes, good boy. Now another thing you'll notice is that I haven't said anything to him besides the words, yes and good boy, yes. And the reason for that is if I'm trying to teach him any particular skill outside of maybe stay, yes, which I will give a command right away for, I often like to set up the mechanics behind whatever behavior it is we're doing, yes, and create that to be a reliable response to the situation I'm putting him in before I give it a name. Yes, because if I started off right off the bat saying focus or look at me or leave it, which is kind of where this is headed, yes, good boy, then there's far too wide a spectrum for him to understand, yes, specifically what it is we are aiming for. But if I set it up to where he knows what I want, and then, yes, I tell him what that's called, I'll find a lot more success in the future in calling upon that particular skill. Yes, good boy. All right, so I'm gonna move him up to something much harder, and that is the open palm version. And what I'm doing is trying to keep this piece of chicken as accessible as possible. Yes, good job. There you go. While still wanting the same answer. So anytime he goes for it, I close my hand, but I'm very quick to try and open it back up because I want him to have the decision to focus on me rather than take the chicken, not just the inability to get it if I hold my fist shut like this. It's counterintuitive, but you'll find that the more, yes, good boy, the more you actually keep your hand open, the better they are gonna do rather than keeping it shut, which is actually a little more tantalizing a prospect to try and take that food. Yes, good job. We're working our way through this. Good boy. So I'm still, yes, good boy. Perfect example right there was that he was actually just giving me that little side eye, a half look, but he's past the point of being rewarded for that. I need a full, looking right at me. Yes, good job. In order for him to get that reward. I'm starting to get picky at this point because he understands the process. So this doesn't count. Yes, that does. You can see it's a subtle difference, but from my vantage point, it's looking at me 50% or looking at me 100%. Yes, good boy. Even there. I'm just having him hold it a little longer, always pushing the envelope to make sure that we're continuing to progress through this. That's a half stare. Still looking, thinking, yes, good boy. Good job. Nice and open. Yes, good boy. And you'll see the amount to which he is trying to take this from me decreases over time as he understands, yes that this is the singular response I'm looking for. Yes, good boy. Love that little second bit there where he did a check-in, decided, nope, that's not the way that I'm gonna get this. Yes, good boy. We gotta restock. You stay tuned for more chicken. So, I'm gonna do a couple more from the palm, and then I'm gonna move on to putting it on the floor as promised in the beginning. So I'm gonna a half look, a little more. I'm gonna need a little more than that if I'm gonna give it to him. Yes, good boy. All right, one more of these, then we're moving to the floor, because you're doing a good job. Yes, good boy. All right, so the floor is the same principle as the open palm where I'm exposing a piece. Oh, you a little faster than me, hold on. 
And all I'm gonna do is put a few fingers in front of it if he goes for it. But I still want the same response. Yes, good boy. Now the key here is, when I say yes, save for any little particulates that I don't want to pick up, like these couple pieces, is that I pick up the main piece and give it to him. And the reason that I do that is because this is moving towards a version of leave it. And if you're using leave it with a dog with food on the floor, you obviously don't want them to feel that it is ever accessible. Yes, good boy. Rather that any treat is gonna come from you, not from the floor. Yes, good boy. So always make sure to pick it up. Always make sure to bring it back up to my line of sight so that we're continuing to reward the fact that he's looking at me rather than the food. Yes, good boy. Now we're gonna put this to the test and we're gonna put down two pieces and I'm gonna give him one as a reward and see what he does with the second. Yes, good boy. There you go. Now we know it's starting to click because he knows that food on the ground is inaccessible no matter what. So put two down. Try that one more. Yes, good job. Who's the smartest man? Eight. Yes, good work. All right, so at this point, I think he understands what I'm looking for. So I'm going to start to give this a name and I'm going to call this Leave It. Yes, good boy, good leave it. So I'm doing the exact same sequence, but now leave it. I'm giving it a name. And I'm gonna both give the command yes ahead of time, good leave it. And I'm gonna follow up with saying good work and that command I've given him, leave it. Yes, good boy. Good, leave it. There we go. Yes, good, leave it. And you see, it's going to click a lot faster because of the fact, leave it, that I've already set up the, yes, the behavior, good, leave it, that I was aiming for, and now I just have to give it a name. I don't have to struggle my way through, leave it all the behavioral options he had, yes, coming into this first lesson. Yes, good boy, good leave it. All right, I'm gonna finish this piece off with dropping food. For some reason, food in motion, leave it, is more tantalizing, as you see there, leave it. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy, and that's it. You can look this up. So that's about it. That's how we teach Leave It. That's how I start with the first lesson of puppy training is I teach them to focus in the face of great distraction, including but not limited to boiled chicken. Good boy. You did a great job. And stay tuned for the next one. Good job, Lily.